good afternoon to all today we are going to study analog communication engineering subject related to this we have started already our fifth chapter that is am and fm detector methods apart from that am detector method we have completed along with that am detector method there are two types that is envelope detector and practical diode detector envelope detector and practical diode detector is used for the demodulation purpose related to narrow band am as well as wide band fm like uh, sorry narrow band am and wide band am like uh, that uh, here uh, second part related to this chapter we are going to study now that is a fm detector detector means uh, same definition it uh, it is uh, related to demodulation demodulation means what getting original signal from modulated signal like uh, that am signal here i have shown one of the uh, fm signal as a input given to fm detector circuit and that fm detector circuit will be introduces that modulating signal that means whichever the signal message signal or information signal uh, used for the modulation purpose that uh, signal we got here as it is like um, am detector fm detector not directly we have to detect that signal as it is uh, that is a principle is a again different from that am detector uh, here first of all we have to convert that fm signal into am and then we have to convert that demodulated signal like this sequence we have to follow here but in am we have to directly convert that uh, am signal into modulating signal then some requirements related to that fm detectors are given here which will be satisfy the fm demodulation uh, what are these we are going to study first requirement is it must be convert the frequency variation into amplitude variation that means we have to convert whenever the frequency is goes on changing that frequency we have to convert into that amplitude uh, the next conversion uh, the conversion must be linear and efficient Th that means conversion is a linear means what whenever we are going to change that input output must goes on changes that type of a conversion must be related to that uh, fm detector circuit then next is a demodulator circuit should be respond amplitude change only it should not be respond due to frequency change because uh, here we are going to study uh, related to fm detector but for the fm detector there are two steps uh, it is not similar to that am fm detector steps first uh, will follow that fm signal is converted into am and then we are going to demodulate it that means their aim is to convert only the amplitude or only to change the parameter that parameter is a amplitude for that purpose here no any kind of change in the frequency like this ne next parameter is it should be uh, should be fairly sim simple in its adjustment and operation that means uh, the circuit uh, whichever the circuit we are going to designing that circuit must be simple and adjustable for everywhere the, let us now convert that frequency changes into voltage variation that means amplitude is nothing but voltage that means we are how we are going to convert that frequency into amplitude by using number of types that is that types are whole are involved in fm detector like am detector for am detector in your syllabus two types of uh, demodulators are involved that is envelope detector and practical diode detector similarly for fm detector there are four types of detectors are involved in your syllabus that is first one is a simple slope detector second one is a balanced slope detector third one is a phase shift uh, phase shift discriminator and fourth one is a ratio detector here whichever the detectors are mentioned that all the detector are involved related to the principle that is a slope detection then what is the meaning of that slope detection how that circuit will, will work out that slope detection and what is the basic components or what is the basic building block construction used for that slope detector we are going to study first of all then we will go further that is our next target is to principle of slope detection here i have represented one tank circuit related to that slope detector for that tank circuit variable frequency input i have given that means variable frequency input that means for which parameter is varying here here frequency parameter is varying for that purpose it is nothing but in short here i am going to apply fm signal to that tank circuit and tank circuit will be uh, gives uh, me output related to proportionality to frequency output that means whenever the input frequency goes on varying output frequency is also goes on varying by using this tank circuit this is a principle related to slope detection and along with that the center frequency of fm signal fc 
एफ सी मीन्स वॉट सेंटर फ्रिक्वेंसी दिस फ्रिक्वेंसी डिविजन ऑफ द डेल्टा रेजोलेंट फ्रिक्वेंसी ऑफ द ट्यून ड सर्किट इज डिलेसियसली एडजस्टेड दैट इज एफ सी प्लस डेल एफ एम डेल एफ एम इज ए नथिंग बट सेंटर एडजस्टेड फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड हाउ दैट फ्रिक्वेंसी गोज ऑन चेंजेस दैट इज एफ सी मीन्स वॉट सेंटर फ्रिक्वेंसी डिलेसियसली दैट फ्रिक्वेंसी गोज ऑन चेंजेस एंड सम शॉर्ट ऑफ पिक पीरियड दैट इज ए रिप्रेजेंटेड दैट चेंज इन ए डेल्टा एफ दैट मीन्स द डिलेसियस टैंक सर्किट इज ए ट्यून टू टू ए हायर फ्रिक्वेंसी दैट इज एफ सी which is represented as a fc plus del ff here i have shown that amplitude variation at the output that means frequency is converted into amplitude modulation then amplitude modulation is converted into demodulating signal that means directly we cannot de detect that fm signal in in every circuit fm signal is a first converted into am and then we are going to use that am demodulation technique only this is the basic uh, background related to slope detection method then apart from these four types whichever the types i have mentioned here uh, whichever the types i have mentioned here that is a simple slope detector balanced slope detector phase discriminator and ratio detector apart from that today we are going to study first type that is a simple slope detector here i have shown that simple slope detector circuit in this circuit rc filter is used for the demodulation purpose rc filter will be work out as the low pass filter function which will be introduced amplitude frequency modulating signal a fm signal as a given as a input to here here uh, also the diode is used here okay uh, in this detector circuit uh, what is the output of this tank circuit is then applied to a simple slope detector then tank circuit is connected here the output of that tank circuit is connected directly to the simple slope detector and the rc load constant with a proper time constant time constant is here uh, time parameter is a constant so that the frequency does not varies because time and frequency both are inversely proportional to each other this filter will be filter out all the higher frequency ripple and produces the modulating signal that means whatever the original output signal which is used for the fm modulation we will get here by using that tank circuit this detector is identical to am diode detector even though the slope detector circuit is a simple it has the following disadvantages although this simple slope detector is a very very uh, easiest or simply uh, easy to design and construction but it has some drawbacks that disadvantage here i have mentioned the first disadvantage it is inefficient inefficient means what whenever the we are applying that higher range frequency signal to that simple slope detector then it will be cannot uh, modify or it will cannot generate that original signal as a modulating signal here as it is this is the first and foremost and biggest disadvantage related to that simple slope detector it is a linear only over a limited frequency that means only for the linear uh, limited frequency range its response should be in a linear structure but rest of all the frequencies it should, it should, cannot give that linear frequency response it is a difficult to adjust as a pr uh, primary and secondary winding of the transformer must be tuned to slightly different frequencies along with this disadvantage the system is also belonging some advantages point what is this advantages point this is a overcome drawback of the simple slope detector is in a simple construction easy to be design and built up this is the simplicity nature related to that simple slope detector along with this drawbacks we are going to introduce another concept related to that simple slope detector uh, which is uh, advanced or to overcome along with that simple slope detector drawbacks we are going to uh, design next uh, type that is a balanced slope detector we are going to study in that balanced slope detector in our next lecture this is the second part related to that uh, uh, fm detection method thus all these things related to fm detection how we are going to detect that fm by using simple slope detector this construction related to this thank you